Hello, this is Tom Vander Ark. Digital Learning Now issued the 10 elements of high quality digital learning on December 1st, 2010 in Washington, DC. Our mission is to advance digital learning in every classroom, in every school, in every state in America to better prepare students for college and careers. Technology has the power and scalability to customize education so each and every student has the opportunity to learn in their own way and at their own pace. Two things vital to individual academic success. Element number nine is funding. Funding creates incentives for performance, options, and innovation. How money is spent is at least as important as how much money is spent in education. Funding should fuel achievement and innovation, not reward complacency and bureaucracy. Paying for success will yield success. Right now, the majority of education funding rewards attendance. Schools get paid when students show up regardless of how much they learn. Digital learning can actually save money in the long run. Full-time virtual schools can save money on facilities and transportation compared to traditional schools. And supplemental programs offering individual course enrollments have the potential to make even bigger savings uh, for districts and states. Given the fiscal challenges faced by governments across the country, states need to be innovative to meet the challenge of providing access to digital content. To build a quality digital learning environment, states have to spend smarter, not necessarily more. Geographically unbound digital learning provides incentives for states to develop an equalized and weighted funding formula that better matches resources with individual student needs, regardless of their zip code. There are three immediate steps that policymakers can take. One, every state funding model should pay providers in installments that incentivize completion and achievement. Two, States allow for digital content to be acquired through instruction material budgets and do not discourage di digital content uh, with print adoption practices. And three, every state's funding should allow customization of education, including choice of providers. I'd now like to ask Governor Bob Weiss, President of the Alliance for Excellent Education and the co-chair of Digital Learning Now with Governor Jeb Bush to comment on school funding. Tom, let's take an example, and every policymaker should think of this too, is we have five high schools, and each high school has five students that want a course that's not offered in that school, whether it's Mandarin, Chinese, calculus, another language, whatever. So do we have to provide a single teacher for every one of those high schools? Do we perhaps provide two or three teachers that travel a circuit, physically being there for an hour or two at a time? Or are we able to provide this course digitally where we have one high quality teacher now able to uh, digitally instruct these 25 students and incidentally not just for one hour at a fixed physical location but literally on a 24-7 basis. That's the cost effectiveness. Much greater results uh, for the dollars that are being spent. And of course we also want to remember the Florida Virtual Schools example which is Florida Virtual Schools doesn't pay simply because a student is enrolled. They pay over time based upon the performance of that student. Right. We, we certainly don't underestimate how tough this is going to be to do. It is going to require some difficult design work. It'll both technical, uh, technically difficult, but also politically difficult. We understand that, but there's the potential uh, to deliver such great options for students and to help states and districts save money. Absolutely, and we have to confront it because it's going to be on us anyway. As Michael Horn and Clayton Christensen write, uh, in 10 years, half the courses in high schools will be online. Right. The question is whether we've adopted as policy the kind of funding mechanisms right. that guarantee maximum results. Time to lay the groundwork now. Thank you, Governor. For more information on the 10 elements, go to digitallearningnow.com.